windy today. Uh, we're headed out to join our friends on their wide beam. Currently filling up with diesel right outside the marina, which is where we are gonna hop on. We're Mel and Paul, and we love our life on board Annabelle, our narrowboat home. These days, with busy lives, we don't get out to adventure along the canals and explore the English waterways as much as we used to. And while we long for those days of continuous cruising and the feeling of freedom that moving our floating home used to afford us, the reality of this lifestyle for now is that we're often just recuperating from the work week hanging out around the marina and moving through average days of boat life. In this video, we go from an above average day as we take you on a beautiful cruise and hitch a ride on our friend's boat, to a below average day scrubbing away the remains of winter on the boat. A trip to the Chandlery because you guessed it, we're fixing problems. Our water heater burst. And as you well know by now, it's never smooth sailing for long. Subscribe to the channel and join us as we take you through the events of April in our version of Boat Life. This was a windy but otherwise perfect Saturday for a cruise. We were lucky enough to become friends and frequent boat visitors with these two when Paul met Richard through his previous work at another marina. As you can imagine, escaping to the spacious beauty of a boat is always a welcome change of scenery for us. that you'll meet our friends Richard and Laura. Hello. Uh, we may not put Richard on camera yet. It's very camera show. <laughs> but this is the joy of owning a boat. You can see this is a much larger boat than what you used to see on ours. But sparkling sun outside, wine in the glass, good company, it's a vibe. <laughs> up to Sawley Lock, there are not any lock keepers, which they usually are, which will do the lock gates for you. It is automated, um, but there's normally volunteers from the Canal and River Trust that'll help out with that. So we're on our own today. I'll show you, I think Laura has gone up to press buttons. through Sawley Lock down to Trent Lock to moor up on the river in a familiar spot for the day. When you meet good people with similar interests and a very comfortable boat to boot, I'd say we really struck it lucky here. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long, an unresolved questions hold you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on Driving in 
in my car The road is long and full of dust The landscape changes around me On and on I feel I must Whatever happened to me Happened for my highest good I read that in so many books Now it's almost understood I'm moving on But uh, uh, one meter, one meter. Okay, half a meter is going to bang. Oh, okay. okay, that was slick. That was smooth. We'll, we'll go forwards and we'll have that on the that ring on the centre rope. Um, yeah. Oh dear. A little sunken boat bobbing in the water. We've made it safely, so we're on our spot set for a grand afternoon. I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for me. Thank you. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Well, yes, moving on, all good things must come to an end. Back on narrowboat Annabelle, and high time to rinse off the remains of winter. As you can see, the bow under our cratch cover has become home to spiders, a random bucket of ash from the fire, and it's time to get this summer ready. to sit in somewhere over the winter and while we really should take the cratch cover off for a proper scrub I'll get Paul to help me with that at a later stage. For now this little method worked just fine. found ourselves doing in April. It was my birthday month and I uh, got COVID for my birthday. Just came out the back of that and the last day as I'm feeling better our uh, clarifier burst on the boat last night. So yeah we're gonna dart off to uh, Liverpool to get another 55 litre clarifier and an expansion tank and then come back 
and fit it hopefully. We're just in a car park now getting some food and stuff and then we're gonna be off. So join us. We drove out pretty far to the only branch of Midlands Chandler's with the stock we needed. We didn't mind anything for the relief to continue having hot showers. Cross my name after this, this is without my reason. For a trip to the hardware store to get pipe and the necessary fittings, we got straight to work installing the new clarifier. Step one was dismantling the steps, and then of course draining the tank. You can of course let the tank drain into the engine bay and let the bilge pump take it overboard but wetting the engine bay for no reason? This is just not Paul's style. We used this jug method. We've done two. Might be here a while. A long while later. Glorifier, what a feed wasn't us. You weren't you couldn't isolate it. So that's what I isolated now. We're going to mount that on the bulkhead there. So if we have problems again, at least we can isolate this and still have cold water and toilet and things like that. And then we'll be able to isolate the system there. So those are going to stop the cooling from in there. Well, we're just going to get that little bit on the top. You'll remember last time we were trying to repair our Vasto heater. Paul actually bought those clamps and he was just saying how he knew they would one day come in handy and they are very much so handy when you need to isolate different pipes so he's about to drain all the coolant coolant not drain it that's what the clamps are on there for isolate the coolant pipes yeah so the coolant doesn't then he'll be putting it. some stop cocks on the other pipes coming out from the water heater and then we'll be able to separate all the pipes Oh, they will be able to like isolate them all if we ever need to change the thing again, ever, someday. And then all the pipes will be isolated, so if we ever need to change anything again, that will all be watertight. Did I say it right? Sounds like you know what you're doing. Eh? <laughs> you I don't know what's alive? going on, I'm just asking Paul for directions so I can explain <coughs> to you and narrate the job. Right. Right. Thanks, Gar, for the lot. Always coming in handy. Yeah, I use that thing so much. For some reason, I've got two oscillating valves here. And two there on the heating on the heating system. For what reason I do not know. But yeah. So instead of just putting one tap, I would have put those two taps down here. You just isolate the source. Instead of yeah, I don't know, I don't know what their plan was. <laughs> Everybody kisses their wife in a different way. 
so does it mean that I'm on the side of Cron Hart? Don't have to help you anymore because I'm trapped. Mm. Not like you're helping me anyway. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. How's this guy? Clearly, as I am trapped by the mattress in the doorway, I think it's a good time to let Paul carry off that and I will fashion us a snack. What's the best thing about missing Easter and only getting to the shops on the Monday? Discounted leftover Easter treats. I'm just taking all the fittings off so we can get it out the, out the thing. The coolant for the Vasta can have a bit of a problem. Like, how the stuff behaved itself. So I was going to take off that last one. And hopefully, we can take this out. dog oh. howling like a wolf they leave him i think yeah oh, poor us we were luckier this time than the last time we had water issues with the shower the burst was relatively contained and high up on the tank so for the most part, we didn't flood the boat. Before we put the new one back in, Paul's just gone to get the vacuum cleaner. So I think we're gonna just clean up as much as possible inside here, get it all fresh before we put the new one in. About the same height. Madness begin. Oh, easy. that was the easy part. Where are we gonna find space for that? Oh, it'll go inside here. Yeah. You see, and this will be facing down, but uh, it's gonna go over here. Oh, so once I thought we were gonna sit on top or something. No, no, it'll be underneath. You could even put a jam, maybe. Screw it in. I think the fittings for it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. And what does that do? Um, it's expansion chamber on the hot side. So that'll go on there. When that gets too hot, um, the water, the hot water can expand and it doesn't pop it. Like the last one. How come they didn't have one on the last one? I don't know. Ask Liverpool boats. I don't know. What's up, Liverpool boats? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't put an expansion. Maybe it's like a new thing. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. So, I'm going to put it. The company that makes these is uh, SureCal. They recommend that you use them. So, I'm going to use it. This should have a little, like, um, a little, yeah, like that. Bicycle pump. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah. Hi there, everybody. You find me on uh, day two of the installation. Yeah. It's rough going, but uh, we'll get there in the end. Uh, I'll show you what I've done so far. So I've put these um, isolators, uh, top two, or these two here, are from the engine to heat it. So those will go into the bottom two there. And then these two are from the Webasto, the heating system. And those will go into those two there. Then I've still got to put all the brackets on and like steadies and things. So we've got the mixing valve on the top and then down the bottom there is the water. And that goes around the back. That's the expansion tank there, and that'll be the hot out there with the isolation on it. And then I've got a cold isolation in as well. Sorry, I haven't been filming much. It's a bit tight in the cupboard the whole time. Uh, but yeah, that's the state of play for day two. Cheers. So, we are all plumbed in. We're filling with water. All the pipes are plumbed in. Doesn't seem to be leaking, it's a good sign. And that's where the footage from April abruptly ended, because another project of ours has come up. It's pretty obvious what Paul's gonna be tackling next. So tune in next time for updates on our van conversion. Thank you so much to our patrons. You'll be getting your insider info update soon. And thanks to you all, as always, for watching.